Good afternoon. I'm Phil Petty of Industrial Controls Engineering. I'm here today to introduce you to a new industrial system for measuring of the 21st century. We have developed a three two and three dimensional measurement system which requires a camera and, it's, and a Only 30 seconds into his pitch and Philip is already struggling to explain his idea confidently, despite smuggling written notes into the dragon's den. The, we have identified a need for a camera technology that can develop, take two and three dimensional images and create you an automatic two and three dimensional drawing. Yet it's quick and simple to use and also capable of taking two and three dimensional data from external sites and internal sites. Ivycam, Ivycam's development and research has been developed by my husband. Uh, Ivycam's research and development expe expe expenditure of 750,000 has been exclusively supplied by the company directors. We are hoping to obtain a £50,000 equity fund from yourselves with an additional match funding, the source of which has been identified to provide a working capital of £100,000. The equity investment is anticipated to be returned within, ten, within one to two years. I hope I've identified all the points I'm trying to identify. Are there any questions? Philip's pitch is terrible. He's failed to explain the idea properly and left the dragons needing to know a lot more before they can consider investing the £50,000 he wants to raise. Phil, hi. Hi. You've mentioned the, the, the equity, i.e. the £50,000 that you're looking for. Yeah. What's the percentage of the, of the company that you're offering today? 5%. Okay. If it's all right, call John, because he's got all the figures, the financial, because how the company's bring him up, absolutely. Yep. 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 Bring yep. Him up. Philip's brother, John, is a partner in the business. Can he help sell the system? Right, Phil, I'm, I'm a real technophobe. And what I want you to do is explain to me exactly how this works, step by step. Simply, I want you to simplify it as much as you can. Try my best. Um, this their system instantly measures any object and displays the information and image on a computer. It's an invention with many industrial applications, but will the dragons grasp how lucrative this could be? And Phil, give us the, the, the laser part of that. Is that the bit that you've designed from scratch? Or what have you designed and created here? Or, or a system. Uh, okay, you've put a system together, but have you put a system together based on parts that have been out there and they're currently functional? You've just basically caught thought of the concept, or have you actually designed that from scratch, patented it, brought it to the market, or it's, looking to bring yeah. it to the market? It's a fully, it's, it's a fully, it's a fully, it's a, being, it's a granted international patent, the, the actual system as a whole. And the system, if I could Do try you own it. that? Sorry? Is, yes, is that yeah. owned by yourselves? It's owned by, by the company. company. It's a granted patent. It's a granted patent. And it's a broad form patent on this entire, so there's, you're, it's broad enough to cover anybody else trying to use the combination of laser light plus digital imagery yeah. to... 28 claims in the actual patent. There's 28 claims. Well said. So that, I think, sums up. It does. Doug Richard and Peter Jones seem to have worked out what a money spinner the brother's system could be. But Philip and John need more than the dragon's cash. They admit they're out of their depth in the business world and need some guidance too. We know our limitations. We are quite happy to look at licensing of the product. But if we'd have gone to people and said, we want to license this, people won't take us seriously. Why not? I don't understand that. Because it seems to me that that... Because you don't get through, we don't get through the door for a start. You know, you're, you're two people, you're two lads, or two people... Two brothers. ...who are not actually worked in that environment, what you're talking about is professors and so <coughs> forth, universities, yeah. you're not taken seriously unless you actually show it to them working and they can't refute it. Philip and John's system is difficult to understand and two dragons have heard enough. I've got no sort of base on which to judge it and it's really not my type of business and I'd probably be totally useless to you if I was to, to come in as an investor so it's, it's not a business that turns me on. 
So I'm out. You haven't sold it to me and I'm not investing in it. Philip and John are looking for £50,000 from the remaining dragons who now know they could buy a share in a potentially lucrative system for very little money. But are the brothers themselves any help to the business? How do you both feel being brothers that actually you could be told what to do by somebody else? I'm an engineer. I've been told what, what to do for most of my working career. <laughs> <laughs> so perhaps we need an engineer and we don't need John. How would you feel then? Life's a bitch. I'm not sure exactly what you do, John. I try to pull everything else together. Philip and John's joint venture is about to lose another potential investor. I think there's problems when you get two brothers working together and uh, they own the company. I haven't really thought deeply about it. I'm not interested, I'm out. Three dragons down and things appear to be going badly for Philip and John. But Doug Richard has sensed he could pick up a bargain if he invests some of the £50,000 the brothers are looking for. Let, let, me, let, me make, let me be very blunt. I'll put £25,000 if, if up right now, which gets you halfway to your number. But I would expect 5% of the company for it. Because you're not going to just, you won't succeed with just my money. You're also going to need my time. And you can't afford my time. So I'm going to have to give you my time. And that's what you're really asking for today, is the experience of somebody who knows how to take this thing to market. Yeah. Doug Richard is prepared to put in half the £50,000 Philip and John need, but he wants 5% of the company. They only want to give away 5% in total, and they still need to raise another £25,000. Peter Jones is about to turn the screw. I would actually like to say that I think I'm in for £25,000, but it would have to be on a 15% shareholding basis. So I'm offering you today £25,000 for 15% of the business. So you were 15, you were talking about five. My offer got different while I was waiting. So finish with him, we'll come back to me. So I think really it's in your hands now whether that is something you'd like to, to consider and take forward. Peter Jones will put in the other £25,000, but he wants even more of the brothers' company than Doug Richard. He's demanding 15%. And if Philip and John agree to that, Doug Richard will want a similar deal. I think that you need a real large quantity of business help. That is something that in my life is a precious commodity. And so what you're essentially doing, gentlemen, is you're selling 30% of the company for £50,000. A little up from five. <laughs> Doug Richard and Peter Jones have offered Philip and John the £50,000 they need, but the two dragons want a massive chunk of their company. Will they accept the deal? So the, I think your first obstacle is you got to get over here is, are you interested in accepting an investment at a radically different price? At the moment, I'll say I don't deal with the business side. You do now. You do You're having an investment now. discussion with a potential investor. You're, you do deal with the business side, Jen. Um, effectively, what I think we're saying is that, yeah, we're very interested in what you're talking about. What we are is you've, you've talked about actually providing us expertise in, in both cases. And what we, want to, what we want to understand is a level of that expertise that we'll be getting for that. That return. That's a fair question. In my case, my first company was as a CAD CAM integrator for the aerospace and defense industry in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. So I have a perfectly clear understanding of so most all of the technology about? we've been discussing. Right. And I've brought, I don't know, 40 or 50 software products to the market. To that be. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. it. Doug Richard began his career creating computer assisted design tools, and Philip and John are impressed. Peter Jones is also confident he'll be able to help them that products to market is my game. Yeah. So I think that's where my clear skill set is, so. is, is actually evaluating now where your sales channels will be, how you're going to deploy the right people, how we're going to get a management team together, and how we're going to work as a team and get that product to market now. Doug Richard knows all about products similar to the one Philip and John have been demonstrating today, and he understood early on that they had a potentially lucrative system. But will Philip and John agree to giving away 30% of their business for just £50,000? Then I would say I'm, I would be interested. Certainly interested, yeah. yeah interested. interested or accepting? Yes, I'd accept that. 
Well done, guys. You've just got an investment. Congratulations. Well done. Well done. Against the odds, Philip and John have got their investment and two valuable mentors. The brothers walk away with the £50,000 they came for in exchange for 30% of their business. Peter Jones and Doug Richard think it's a great deal. Interesting business. Well, the oh, you don't think so? That was the most boring business I've seen yet. Uh, it's the boring ones that make all the money. It is. It's the ones yeah, that you don't know be, about that, that make the returns, business, isn't it? Thing. And also you've got two guys there that clearly... They need, they need, they need the help. And they, and they want help. That's and they've got a great about. product. And you know the great thing about it is, they're right, if there's no way to turn this into a business, we could sell the patent for more than that. Yes, yeah, so you've got a return anyway. And we will write it into the agreement, so there's just no downside. The really fascinating thing about your pitch is that compared to some, you, it's so gentle. I mean, really, you, you, you so undersold it. This is a really substantial product, and you barely... We could have missed it, almost. Well, I'm afraid we are... We know our limitations, and one of those is we're not salesmen. And the other thing you've got to remember, we also know where it can go. So what we're telling to you today is a fraction of where we believe it can take you to. Well, let's hope the engineering pays off. We'll keep an eye on it. Very good luck to both of you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much.